What up, what up, what up, KDM Culture PH fam? It's your boy Jag. Back at it again with another episode for the KDM Culture PH last VIP accent channel. And today, we're gonna dive into a little bit about my air suspension system. I'm gonna give you guys an honest review with the six months so far of owning it, some of the good things and the bad things that I've experienced with the system so far, and a few key breakdowns and some upgrades that I've actually had done to the system recently. So with that being said, stay tuned and we'll get right into it after the intro. See you guys in a little bit, all right? guys welcome back to the channel so uh, as I mentioned earlier we're gonna be doing a little bit of a review of the air suspension that I've had installing the car for about six months now and I want to give a quick shout out to concept air suspension and fabrication for hooking up the air suspension on my ride so with that being said uh, the previous six months has been great I've had some uh, instances where they weren't so good but uh, we'll talk about that in a little bit uh, for the most part I've been extremely happy with the performance and the quality of work that they've done and with my system. So uh, with the basics uh, that I've had installed on the system, um, it pretty much consists of a pump or a compressor, the 1.5 gallon tank, the two-way valves, the wireless remote, and of course a breaker, so just in case we need to turn the uh, system off in an emergency. Uh, anyways, with that being said, we'll go ahead and do a little demo of uh, the noise level, if you can hear it and we'll do a timer to see how uh, quick the system takes to uh, fill up the tank so we're going to do a little preview as you can see right now my tank is both on zero so we'll go ahead and just air it up put a little bit of air in the tank to get the uh, pump running and we'll start our timer as well as soon as i do that all right so you can see the pump already kicked in i'll try to stay quiet so that way you guys can hear. We got the timer going on as well. So, based on my projections, I think it would take less than a minute, hopefully, until the tank fills up. And this is on one pump, one compressor only. So, you can see there's a little bit of noise, but it's not too bad. Okay? So, I want to say about 35, 36 seconds, right? That's enough to uh, get us rolling and get us started on our daily uh, drive. So 35 seconds, 36 seconds, that's not too bad on a single pump. But uh, let's see here. Um, so that's with one pump and uh, actually recently I've had an addition or an upgrade I would say to my system. Which would be the uh, dual pump setup I've got and I've had some water traps installed on my system as well. We'll get to that in a little bit. I'll go ahead and take you guys around back. But uh, for now, let me go ahead and uh, show you guys. Let's see if I can do this uh, one hand because I tripped the breaker on the uh, other pump so that way only one works. But uh, let's go ahead and drain the system out real quick. So as you can see, for both. It's aired out. Now I know the tank's not completely aired out, but uh, as far as the gauges read, it's both on zero. But, uh, as you can see right here, there's two breakers right there, and one of them is tripped. So, uh, hold on one second. I'm going to go in and just fix this real quick without trying to break my arm. Alright. Oops. So, with that, both pumps should be now activated. I'm going to just close my hood. And uh, let's go ahead and give it another test so you can see the uh, gauge is still reading zero. But uh, let's go ahead and turn it on and set the timer again to see. Well, theoretically, it should speed up and go twice as fast. So the last one, as you can see, about 35, 36 seconds. So let's go ahead and restart that. And let's go ahead and put some air on the tank again. I'm going to start my timer. Put some air in the tank. And uh, here we go. Uh, I don't know if you can notice the noise level, 
to see if it'll be twice as loud, which it should be, but theoretically speaking, it should also be twice as faster since I've got two pumps down. And right after this, we'll go to the back and show you guys, all right? So I'm just gonna put some air in the tank, set my timer now, put some air in the tank. All right, so as you can see, or as you can hear, both pumps are on. It's a little bit louder, but not too bad. bit quicker about 10 seconds shorter I expected it a little bit to be a little bit quicker but like I said the tank the tanks not drained all the way it just shows it on the gauge but of course there's still some air left in the tank but uh, with that being said just give me a second I'm going to air out the car again and uh, let me take you guys around back to uh, show you the system and uh, let you know how it works and explain a little bit of everything in detail let me just set uh, the camera back up in the trunk and I'll get back to you guys in a little bit all right all right, guys, here we are in the uh, rear of the vehicle, the trunk setup. And as you can see here, we've got a dual pump setup installed now. Initially, it was just one pump. And this is the uh, two way valve right there. And of course, there's another pump. And the tank, although we could have gotten it upgraded for a bigger one, I opted out to just stay with the smaller version, which is a 1.5 gallon tank to uh, reduce um, taking up space in my trunk since I still need to utilize it. And of course, we got the water traps added for each compressor right here. And as you can see, there's a little bit of water buildup on it already. That one and this one. And uh, we'll go in and show that to you in a little bit to, uh, oops, uh, to explain what they do and what the purpose of that is. So, of course, um, some of you may know or may not know the purpose of the dual pumps that I've got here is more of a precaution and more of an insurance policy for the entire system. So just in case one of the pumps decides to take a crap on me or goes bad, I have another one to uh, help and assist me should I get in trouble. That way I don't get stuck with a um, pump that's not working. I have a backup, so to speak. So like I said, it's just more of an insurance policy or a uh, you know just a precaution for the whole system. Now, the water traps, as I mentioned earlier, these things, those are water traps for each compressor or pump. What they do is, as the compressor or the pump pumps air into the tank here, uh, it will cause some condensation. So, of course, there's hot air pumping into these lines going into the tank. And, of course, when that cools down, it turns into water. So, that's why, as you can see, there's a little bit of water being collected at the water trap. Now what that does, it's actually a system that prevents water from getting into the tank, to your valves, and of course throughout your whole system, your bags, and of course that's a no-no, that's, you know, that's not a good thing. And uh, with this, it's generally recommended that you drain it every few weeks. I've actually had it for about a week now, so there's a little bit of water build up. And uh, to drain these, it's fairly easy, it can get a little bit messy. But uh, there's a small valve at the bottom of this that you kind of just press down on or press up on and it should release the pressure on the uh, water valve, therefore releasing the water. Let's give you a quick demo and then try not to make a mess. See, there's a valve right here at the bottom. I'm gonna go in and press it down. I got a towel to catch it so that way um, you can see a demonstration. See, oops. But uh, yeah, let me just try not to make a fucking mess here. You get the gist of it. But uh, of course, I'm gonna drain that out in a little bit. I just did it for a quick demonstration of uh, you know the video. It's generally advisable that of course you have a towel when doing this, so that way it doesn't get too messy like it just did earlier because it tends to squirt all over the place. Um, but yeah, that's what the purpose is. It's uh, supposed to prevent water buildup or water getting into your system, your uh, valves, and your tank. And of course, you don't want that to get into the airbags as well. So, I've also had a manual switch. Sorry, I didn't even get to show that earlier. Added onto the car here. So what this does is pretty much just a basic switch. This one lifts the front of the vehicle up. This one lifts the rear of the vehicle up. So it's still a two-way valve. Eventually, I'll upgrade it to a four-way. But that just lifts both front and rear. And then these, of course, generally speaking, brings down the rear. So. That's just another precaution that I have just in case the remote runs out of batteries or it goes bad. So, 
with the uh, let's see let's talk about the uh, review now since you guys are up to speed up to speed and up to date with my system so the very minor issues and setbacks that I've had so far was one of these pressure switches which is these things right here uh, one of them got rusted presumably either a factory defect or probably because I haven't had the water traps installed yet so a little bit of condensation or water got into the pressure switch therefore causing it to rust and uh, what I was having was I was having problems with the uh, pump that just kept on turning randomly because I believe it was having misreadings along with the gauge uh, since the pressure pump was corroded with rust so uh, that's one of the issues that I've had and uh, you know it was causing the pump to run randomly which was more annoying than concerning really uh, of course I was then advised by the uh, team that installed it concept air suspension and fabrication so I gave them a call they I rang them up and they advised me to uh, set my ride height at the meantime and then turn off the breaker that I had which I showed you guys earlier in the front so that way once I had my height set up I can turn off the breaker and it'll pretty much turn the whole system off at least I'll be at a safe ride height to uh, get me to where I'm going and get me home and uh, you know of course that therefore turns off the whole entire system so I'm not gonna be able to air up or air out that's why they told me to you know put it on my preferred ride height and it'll keep the pump from running on by itself or randomly and preventing it from overheating of course all right all right guys and with that being said uh, with the story I was telling you about earlier uh, eventually in a timely manner of only a few days the pressure switch was replaced which was that little thing I got arrested along with the pump since it was still under warranty so they decided to replace the uh, pressure switch and the pump as well although in my opinion I don't think they really didn't need to replace the pump since it was just being triggered by the uh, pressure switch that was corroded and rusted therefore throwing off a misreading and turning on the pump but for my peace of mind I told them that hey you know if it's possible let's go ahead and replace the bumpers well. one they didn't have a problem with that since it was still under warranty within six months of me having a system and you know of course you can't put a price on your peace of mind so uh, with that being said uh, I want to say that this is where I commend the shop concept air suspension and fabrication for taking care of me for their after sales support which is amazing uh, I can't complain I haven't had any bad experiences every time I've had an issue or you know it's like these small issues that I've had I gave them a ring I gave them a call and they answered immediately was able to offer me some type of assistance and some troubleshooting that way um, you know I can get the issue sorted out as quick as possible all right guys and this is why I insist on folks doing your own research when it comes to picking the right shop for your installation um, you know for me personally after sales support is very very important and can be a deal breaker if my expectations are not met if you think about it you're dropping a lot of money into your air suspension system so your after sales support better be on point better be there when you need them and of course better be reliable as a system that they're installing so I mean you know of course I always tell folks who are looking to get into air suspension do your own research do your own research on the shops that you're planning to get installed at on the deals that they have as well because at the end of the day just because they have a great deal does not mean that their quality of work service and parts is going to be met with the same great deal you get what you pay for you know what I mean but at the end of the day hey there's plenty of shops that offer various prices for all uh, different types of vehicles and uh, systems available that will work with your price range just of course do your own research you want a peace of mind when you get something like this installed trust me you don't want to get stuck and stranded somewhere in the middle of nowhere and have nobody to call nobody to rescue you and uh, nobody to answer you or at least provide you with some troubleshooting tips should the time arrive that you need it and um, you know hey that's that's just my own opinion of course so hey like I always say do your own research and of course once all those little things and those little gremlins have been fixed on my system um, hey the system has been working flawlessly and you can see I even got it upgraded so that way I have a little bit of more peace of mind and precaution and insurance with the dual pump setup and the water trap uh, setup as well as I demonstrated earlier so that way you know I won't have any problems in the future when it comes to corrosion or rust because I know the water traps gonna catch it 
I don't have a problem or worry about the pump going out because I got a backup one just in case the other one gives out on me. So, you know, it's just those little things, of course, that you save up and eventually get a budget for that you should try to upgrade yourself when you plan on getting air suspension system. And of course, this is not for everybody. So like I always say, hey, do your own research to see if air suspension really is for you. And uh, as, as soon as I had, of course, the system upgrade done, I had them do the maintenance, clean the tanks, check the airlines, check the bags, and they're all good. Uh, no issues with that whatsoever. They all seem to be in working condition and all working fine. And hey, I'm still continuing to enjoy the air suspension system air suspension system that I've had installed for the past six months or so so it's definitely a thumbs up the uh, pros definitely outweigh the cons which is minor small uh, hiccups I would say but like I said hey it's been resolved in a timely and efficient manner so I, I can't complain I commend the shop for that um, you know just because I had an issue they weren't just willing to just take my money and run away you know they were there to help me out assist me at the end of the day so I can't say nothing bad about them so I commend them for that and I will always recommend their shop to any of my boys or my friends who are looking to get into air suspension make sure you check them out concept air fabrication or concept air suspension and fabrication on uh, Facebook hey you know give them a give them a ring you know get your shit right you know what I mean um, but other than that I think that's pretty much it um, I gave you guys a quick little breakdown of the upgrades that I've had some of the uh, bads and the good uh, that came with the system you know of course for full transparency and on future vids videos so stay tuned I'm gonna go ahead and do some pros and cons with having an air suspension system based on the six months that I've owned it so far but other than that I hope you guys enjoyed this quick little short uh, review video of my air suspension system um, uh, try to push out some more content for you guys uh, so that way um, you know you can get a little bit more better understanding of how uh, certain things in my car works if you're looking to get interested in getting it done uh, to the same with your vehicle and yeah just uh, stay tuned I appreciate the support if you guys haven't subscribed yet make sure you do leave a comment leave a like it doesn't cost you a thing and like I always say treat yourself don't cheat yourself it's your boy Jack signing out I'll see you guys on the next one alright peace Waking up and old